Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna do like a mini class, a session if you will, of minimalism. We'll call it Minimalism 101. Just so those who are barely getting into minimalism, pretty much this is what you need to know to start getting into minimalism. <clears throat> I've been in it about a year, year and a half, so I'm not an expert, but I do know how to start and it was a rough patch and it, and I really like it now. I like getting into minimalism and why I am now doing this video. I love the idea of making my life simpler and just easier, well not easier, but simpler. Just so I can focus on the things that I like. So let's jump right into it. So first of all, my name is Crystal. If you do not know and you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. In this channel, we focus on making your life simpler and easier things to make your life yeah. Simple things to make your life simpler. So let's get right into vid this video, but please watch it till the end because that does really help my channel. Okay, so the first question we need to ask ourselves is what is minimalism exactly? Because there's a lot of different opinions on this and people have different definitions. But I found one that I thought was pretty good and it's by a guy named Joshua Becker. And he says, let me read it. Um, Minimalism is the intentional promotion of the things we most value and the removal of anything that distracts us from it. So I pretty much agree with this definition. We all have things that we value. They could be different things like I value family, friends, God, um, creative um, outputs like this, like this channel and all that writing, um, creative output and stories. Those are like the things that I value. So anything that kind of like hinders that, oh, and learning, I love learning. So anything that hinders that and gets in the way is something that I want to remove. Usually there's some things that we need to do, which is different, but if it's like a distraction or something that just takes our time away, we need to remove that. And that's pretty much what minimalism is, is making room for things that bring you joy and room for things that you need to do. So. That is pretty much my definition of minimalism. Okay, now steps to beginning your journey to minimalism and becoming a minimalist. Obviously the first thing, like I said, is figure out your values. What exactly do you value in your life? I think most of us have the basic ones of family, friends, um, if you're a religious person or a spiritual person, God and all that. But then there's probably other things that you value as well. Is it your career? Is it helping people? Is it, um, I don't know, creative outlets? Things that, you know, anything, pretty much. Depends on you, whatever you value, figure it out. Because then you kind of have your goal to what you want to work towards, you know? Number two is purge. Now, something that is very linked to minimalism is purging and decluttering. Decluttering your room, decluttering the whole house, the backyard, the front yard, the storage, everything. Decluttering everything. So I recommend you go slowly. Do not declutter everything. Minimalism is a lifestyle. It's not you declutter once and, whoa, I sound like I'm sick. I'd be like... <coughs> okay. <laughs> that was weird. Um, minimalism is a lifestyle. You don't just declutter once and that's it. No, you need to slowly do it and you keep doing it over and over again and it does make your life a lot easier, just a lot easier. You slowly start by getting rid of the things that you don't value. So like in your closet, let's say you're going to declutter your closet. You go in there and you're like, okay, so they're not things you value, you value clothes, but um, you get rid of the things that you don't like, that don't fit you, that you're keeping just for fun but you don't really wear so take all those things out all the things that you don't need pretty much so when you are decluttering declutter one thing at a time don't go crazy and try to declutter your whole house in one day because it's not gonna work and you're gonna get stressed out and you're gonna give, give up and it does happen to the best of us but start with something small like the junk drawer or your closet even though sometimes that's not small that one could take a day if you have a ton of clothes um like a cupboard or part of the living room something like that something small focus on it 
and declutter the whole thing because if you start doing mini projects all over at the same time you're not going to get anything done and you're not going to see progress at all so start small and start decluttering so the next thing i recommend is look at your time where are you spending a lot of your time it's very helpful to like track in the beginning where you're spending your time like i did half an hour in this i did two hours in this and stuff like that it's helpful to start do that in the beginning then you can see where you're spending your time if you start seeing like oh my goodness i spent two hours watching tv or i or two hours on social media that one's a huge one um check your time so then so then you can start planning and intentionally planning your time for what you're gonna do in these blocks of time that's why that's the biggest reason why i love calendar blocking because you can really see where your time is going so i highly recommend that one and i think i talked a lot of a lot about it in the last video so go check that one out i'll link it below another thing is that you might want to calm down your time is important and you're not going to have every part of your day is not going to be productive it's not going to happen you should plan times of leisure but at least as long as you're planning them then you don't feel guilty for not doing anything else like you're when you're doing your leisure time when you're not doing anything you know it's like okay this is my time to take a break and breathe and that is definitely a good idea so you don't wear yourself out so when you're doing your time blocking and checking where your times are at and what you're setting giving your time to you don't feel bad about it plan your days plan your weeks and you'll feel a lot better afterwards and a lot more productive the next thing is be intentional which is very very important with minimalism minimalism is about you know setting your values and working towards your value values and setting time towards your values and getting rid of the stuff that you don't care about that are getting in your way living a simple life is important instead of just being bombarded by everything that's happening in your day but it's more important to figure out the reason why you're doing something and the reason why you want to get into minimalism whatever that may be if it is wanting to spend more time with your kids or spending more time on the side project that you have or school whatever it is be intentional on why you want to be minimalistic and why you want to have a simpler life okay last thing and probably the most important is do not go to the extreme i think i kind of mentioned it earlier but do not do it do not go to the extreme take action definitely take action start decluttering start cleaning start checking your habits and all that but realize it's not going to be done in a day in a week or in a month it's going to be lifelong changing things you're gonna slowly get better you're slowly gonna see changes in your life but take action and then you will see those differences and you will see progress and that will keep you going just don't try to do it all in a day or a week it's not possible <laughs> um it's like you're slowly cleaning your life that's why i like comparing minimalism and god like he slowly cleans us like we have a bunch of sin in us sorry if i'm getting very spiritual but i am um it's like okay once we, we get saved we do still have a lot of sin in us so then god slowly cleans us out it's not something that happens in a day it slowly happen it happens so that's kind of what i think of with minimalism as well you're slowly cleaning your life, your house, everything that you have, right? You're slowly cleaning it out. And you still have to do it over and over again because things always pile up and come back. Just make sure you prioritize what matters to you and whoever else, like your family, your friends, God. Make sure you prioritize and that will make your life a lot better. Believe me, it does. It really does help. So. That is all my tips for starting with minimalism. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below how you started with minimalism or you're thinking about it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.